Cheers everyone, thanks for joining me for another beer review. In this one we are heading off to Audi and this is uh, from a brewery, if you like. It's one of their typical sort of beers that they have in, in uh, Audi and it's from the Hop Foundry and we are taking a look at their Blindside Red Ale coming in at 4.2% in a 440ml can. Uh, it's brewed in partnership with Freedom Brewery. They do quite a lot with uh, Audi. This cost me £1.69 at the time, but I did notice yesterday in our local Audi, they were knocked down to £1.19. So I've been robbed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's got the rugby artwork on it, just like the pale ale one. No, I had a lager, didn't I? I can't think what it was called, it was a lager. It was a rub rugby themed one, obviously, for the, the World Cup. So glass at the ready. Let's get it cracked open and see what we get. It doesn't really say anything on the can. It says it's got dried fruit and malt flavours. It does make you wonder if it, you know, when they say flavours, whether they just, you know, added flavourings to the beer or something, I don't know, obviously, but it's going to be malt in there, isn't there, but uh, we'll see. So, 4.2%, 440ml can, £1.69, uh, hot foundry, yeah, full-bodied red ale with dry fruit and malt flavours, best served chilled, it said. It's a beer in a glass, yeah, it's red, it's got that ready, it's looking like a red ale, uh, surprisingly enough, we've got quite a decent head there, Little mix and match bubble tan head. Uh, looks looks all right, to be honest. The light's looking a bit shit, isn't it, when I'm holding the glass up? Uh, it looks all right, but there's no life in the beer. I know this glass doesn't do any beers any favours, but there looks to be absolutely nothing. So, let's stop waffling on, diving on the nose, and see what we get. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't smell bad. Malty, a little bit of a sweet note on the nose, maybe a little bit of toffee or something like that in there, toffee caramel sort of thing. I'm not sure you get any dried fruit on the nose, you, you might do. But no, it don't smell too bad. I'm not convinced it's going to be full bodied, but we'll dive in on it anyway. So let's try the Hop Foundry's Blindside Red Ale, 4.2%. Cheers, everyone. First impressions. Actually, reasonably impressed. Reasonably. Let's not get carried away yet. Let's go in again. Four point two percent. I'm not expecting a big, weighty, massive beer. Full-bodied. It hasn't got a bad body on it, actually. Uh, it does feel sort of light, but as you drink it, it feels it feels heavier than what it actually feels when you drink it. How can I put it? It doesn't give you that weight when you're drinking it, if you like, straight away, but it just feels heavier when you do drink it. It still goes down quite easy and quite light. Not too gassy. Uh, nicely carbonated, I would say. Pretty smooth, pretty soft. On the taste, a lot of, lot of thinking there, wasn't there, and looking. On the taste. Big on malts. It is a, it's big, big and malty, to be honest. There is that fruity note, that sort of dark fruit note in there for me. On the back end, I think you almost get a little bit of toffee in there. Right on the back end. I think you do get a little bit of toffee in there. It's got a bit of a fruitcake feel to it, if you like. 
it's quite heavy to drink. Uh, 4.2% does leave a little bit of finish to it as well on the back end. You do get that toffee sort of thing. Uh, once that goes, it does leave a little bit of a bit of finish. It's pretty drinkable, to be honest. You know, you don't get the crispness, obviously, because it's not that sort of beer to give you a crisp sort of experience. But it is quite refreshing. Like I say, it is quite weighty. I do feel like I'm getting full up on it. 4.2%. Uh, don't get any you, you might you know maybe feels a little bit I think with it being a darker beer it maybe feels like a, a bigger beer but it does certainly doesn't drink anything you know heavy or nothing but it does feel a, a heavier beer I think just because it's dark like I say uh hop foundry's blindside red ale I'm not gonna get too carried away but for a £1.69 red ale, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, it's certainly got the flavours in there. You get the, the maltiness in there. You certainly get the fruity flavours. I think there's a little bit of caramel, excuse me, or toffee on the back end. Uh, full bodied, not heavy as in sort of chewy kind of body, but it's heavy as in, as you drink it, kind of heavy. Yeah. Uh, would I drink it again? I'd drink it again. I wouldn't rush out and buy it myself, personally. Uh, but I would drink it again. It's certainly a lot better than some of the beers I've had uh, from Audi. I think some of their stuff has been absolutely shocking. This isn't, I'm not gonna say this isn't shocking to me. Uh, that's not a bad little beer for £1.69. And if you can get it for £1.19, even better. So yeah, for me, the Hot Foundry, no world beater, but it's well worth picking up and giving a go. So if you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. If you're a bit of a red ale expert, you let me know how, how good or bad it is. I don't think it's too bad, but I'm no expert on red ales. But uh, yeah, that's decent enough for the price. Like I say, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe, like, and all that blah, 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 blah stuff. And I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.